I did mention it, but you know, I just, even though not every product in this range did it for me, I loved, loved, loved just using one range. So I, I feel like this is something I'm going to do again and again. I've just got to keep on finding brands that have kind of like complete ranges that I can try things from, um, that I want to try things from. So if you have any recommendations in that regard, I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to, you know, put it down below in the, in the comments section. Um, but I really, um, I don't know, there was just something... You know what it reminded me of, and this is this is going to sound really strange, but it reminded me of when I was um, pregnant, which was a lovely, lovely time in my life. So today's video is all about the Boots own brand, Your Good Skin. And um, I've been very curious about this brand for a long time. I remember when it was first launched, maybe a couple of years ago, and I was gonna get it and then I don't know I got persuaded by something else and I, I just didn't get into it um, but anyway I thought I would include it as part of my tried and tested series let me put a link up here to that um, series of videos where I'm trying and testing different products sometimes I'm doing a deep dive on a brand like I am today or a particular sub brand um, and sometimes it's just one particular product so I've used Your Good Skin and I'll go through in a minute the products that I've actually um, bought. I didn't buy the whole range, but I bought enough for, for me to get a routine out of it, a skincare routine. Um, I've been using them for a month, okay? So for four weeks. And just as I was starting to use them, I had a facial. So I say that because um, that, obviously will have affected how my skin is um, but I still think that you know I've, I've got a pretty good idea about how the products have been working and I want to share my thoughts with you today um, and yeah maybe um, you know you can share your thoughts about this brand with me also um, love to hear from you just um, put some comments in the comment section point downwards because when you look on your phone, it's it's below. When you look on your laptop, it's below. Um, but yeah, it'd be great to hear if you've had experiences with this product range also. So in total, I tried out five different products. I did two cleansers. I did their serum. Um, I did uh, a day cream, um, which I've spoken about in my um, quest to find a Holy Grail day cream video and I'll put the link to that video up here as well. Um, and I also tried out two of their night creams. Um, now, not all of the products are completely done with, but some are, um, and I'll speak about that as I, as I go through the products. But, you know, as I said, I think a month is a, is a good time to work out what is working and what's not working. So let's jump into it. The first um, product I want to speak to you about is this one here. It's the Nourishing Hot Cloth Cleanser. And this it doesn't distinguish by skin type, so it's for all types of skin. And it says that it works in harmony with your skin um, and it's formulated with green tea, yay, vitamin C, yay, and soothing bisabolol, which I don't know what that is, my apologies. This is supposed to gently dissolve and wipe away makeup, excess oil and daily impurities. And just to note, I did read the instructions um, and it says on it to um, make sure it does not get in your eyes. Now, when I first started using this, I took that to mean that you couldn't use it on, uh, on your eyes at all. And then I got bored and... I thought, God, this is, you know, I can't have another step here, right? You know, I need to remove the eye makeup. So I thought, you know what, I'll take a chance and I'll I'll put it on my eyes. And it was absolutely fine. So I'm, uh, I guess I misunderstood the make sure it does not get into your eyes. They mean like physically inside, below the eyelid, on the eyeball kind of thing. Um, and you know what, this was just fine. You know, I've used many different types or many different hot cloth cleansers. Um, and this comes with this cane. I think this might have actually come with two uh, cloths. Uh, does it say? What? How many? 
I seem to remember, yeah, it had two. And they're, they're, they're white with a kind of gold edge that, or whatever colour this is, bronzy, goldy, don't know what colour that is. Anyway, um, yeah, and you know, this is the, this is it. Um, it's kind of a bit uh, squished now. Um, there is a little bit left in there. I'd have to cut this open and I, I wanted to film this before I, I cut it open. But um, I use this pretty much every day um, during the month and it's it's fine as a as a first cleanse to um you know to get your your makeup off to get that feeling of clean i didn't feel like this was doing anything more than that like sometimes when you use a hot cloth cleanser you really feel like you're getting a boost somehow um, i didn't get that feeling so i'm not giving this holy grail status but i think this is you know just fine for a um for a hot cloth cleanser uh, perhaps you've never used one before this probably would be a good one to start with but you know there are others out there and in terms of the pricing this brand is not um kind of your budget um it's not it's it's a bit more expensive than things like um in some in some products than the inculus the ordinary or some of the super drug own brands so it's kind of a little bit higher than that, not significantly, it's still very reasonably priced. But you know, if you're, it's your first foray in a hot cloth cleanser, feel free. But also, you know, there are other ones that are m more inexpensive that, um, you know, you may want to start with. Um, I kind of get the vibe from this. I don't know why, maybe it's the colour that this is meant for more mature skin, but they don't really say that anywhere. Um, that I have noticed. Um, the second product is another cleanser. It's a comforting gel cleanser, um, and you know this is one of these ones where you you it, you apply it as a gel, and then it's it kind of gets slicker, and then you add a bit of water, and it turns into a milk, and then you wash it off. Um, this one I used up faster than the month. Um, I was using it pretty much every day as well, so I would use the hot cloth cleanser I probably should have done them in reverse <laughs> never mind this one I was using on an evening to remove makeup this one I was using on a morning as I stepped into the shower um but you know I was not blown away with this I have to say I, I you know what I would even say that I prefer the Curel one which I wasn't that um enamored by um I you know I could take it or leave it so this was not something that blew me away um did it feel like it cleansed? Yes. Um, I didn't use it on my eyes. Um, again, because it says make sure it does not get into your eyes. But maybe I was just being a bit too cautious there. Um, yeah. So you know, if you love a gel cleanser, I probably that that's probably the problem. I'm not I'm not a big gel fan. Um, you know, this might be one that you you want to you want to try out. The next product is one that intrigues me quite a lot um, and I was very interested to use it and it came with a massive box and now I'm wondering where is that box? Oh, I might, maybe I got rid of it. It was like, um, and that's really unlike me, a plastic thing that you kind of had to open up and pull the serum out of. Um, but this is the this is the serum. They, as far as I could tell, they only have one serum and this is it. And so... I find that to be quite curious because I find that serums, you're either using them to treat in, um, for example, you're using a lactic acid or um, um, a glycolic acid to kind of treat something, um, or you're using it to super duper hydrate. And this kind of made me feel like it was doing both, um, or at least that's what they wanted you to feel. Um, oh. It's visibly health, healthier skin in just 28 days. Yeah, restores and maintains the skin's natural balance. So the cool thing about this serum is that it has a um, a kind of a thing on the side and this is all used up now. Um, I think I'll put in some photos of um, sort of a bit of time through so you can see that it actually does correspond to a particular 
part of the 28 days so this is supposed to last a month and it did I was very impressed with that so two pumps every morning two pumps every evening and I, I really did stick to that religiously um it did feel like I was putting something hydrating on the skin but not super hydrating and maybe you know if it's restoring the skin's balance natural balance um then you know that's how it should be however I want my blackheads gone and if you're restoring the natural balance of my skin surely those blackheads should be adios right they should be bye 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 baby you know um and they're not like they're on my nose I have another facial book in I was going to have it tomorrow but um I'm I've got childcare challenges so I'm I'm going to do it uh, next week but you know I my blackheads are still there they're still on my nose my, my chin my forehead and I also had some um not spot spots but kind of bumps during this month now that could be sort of a hormonal thing and it most probably is um but uh, you know I felt that this was supposed to be helping with all of that so I'm not entirely certain that I would repurchase this um despite the fact that I have to say you know overall I loved doing this I loved just having one brand and yes I did have to use some other products or I felt I needed to other brands into my route to get into my routine and make my routine more complete but I felt it made everything more simple by just sticking to one brand so much so that I've now um, started another brand which that will be another video so more to come on that but um, yeah I mean I think there might be something to be said for you know getting the whole range of something anyway hiya this is editing Karen here um, I just did find the box so I wanted to show it to you for the serum or the skin concentrate this is the box um, it came in oh god sorry it came in a plastic tube so I minus points for the packaging because what a waste I mean you don't need to have all of this um, it does have this kind of band let me see if I can show it to you oops sorry where sorry I'll try and do that a bit better where it sort of says what you're, the results you're supposed to see through the, the 28 days, which I think is pretty cool. So for example, on day one, it says today skin feels smoother and softer all the way through to day 28. Skin is visibly healthier with less concerns, just more good skin days. Um, is that true? I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I, I it's hard for me because I don't have that many bad skin days, but my mega gripe of blackheads is still there the next product that i wanted to talk to you about which i've spoken about in my holy grail day cream um videos is this one the spf 30 antioxidant day cream i love this this is i would say holy grail the only bad thing about this that i can say is well actually two things now that i think about it the taste and we know me and the taste watch my other videos you know i've got this big thing about stuff leaking in it's because i'm a sweaty betty you know that might not be for everyone might not be everyone's issue but the other thing about this is that i have noticed it is not good under makeup so if you put this on and then you put foundation on something strange happens with the foundation now i do have a million and one primers but i always skip that step maybe if i put a, a uh, a primer on top of this and then the foundation it would have been okay but yeah it's been summer I don't wear foundation that often so you know I I don't I I'm all right with that you know in the days that I'm gonna wear foundation maybe I could just wear a different cream but I do like this it sinks in really really fast and it feels lovely and nourishing on the skin but not too heavy so I I do like this holy grail so I had massive hopes for the night creams. I bought two different night creams. The first one is this one here, the Pro Vitamin Overnight Cream. Uh, wake up to skin that looks at heavy, heavy, looks healthy and feels replenished. Again, for all skin types. And I think every single product is for every 
type of skin and that kind of goes against the grain a little bit for me because if you know anything about me my brand i've got an etsy shop i sell personalized skincare recommendations so i curate lists of products that i'm recommending to deal with your skin type your skin concern your budget and so to have a product that's like an all-rounder makes me feel that you you may be missing a trick so i i think i'm lucky that the day cream works for me for my skin the overnight cream it just it's nice and pleasant but it's just not enough you know i'm of an age now so i'm 47 i need i need to uh assistance overnight you know that is the time that my skin gets to be better the next day and i like to wake up feeling that my skin has definitely been really well moisturized and i didn't get that with this night cream so nothing nothing wrong with it you know but it didn't it really didn't wow me i've still got some left here this probably would have lasted the month and maybe a little bit longer if I hadn't have been using the other night cream that I bought. So I had this one as well, which is their Sicker Repair Sleep Paste. And I thought, wow, that's interesting. What's a sleep paste? And basically, you use this thingy magic, and it's not a brush, it's kind of like a silicone thing, to apply this uh, quite thickly to your skin. And you're supposed to leave it for five minutes to absorb, and then you massage in the excess okay so first of all let's talk about Sika because I looked it up because I really was not clear what Sika is and I'm going to read to you from what I got off Mr Google Sika cream also commonly known as Gotu Cola or tiger grass is an antioxidant rich moisturizer for sensitive skin the word Sika is a shortening of Centella Asiatica, and I think they actually say this on here. Oh, they say it's got Centella Asiatica in it, a herb native to some parts of Asia and Africa. And it's supposed to be skin soothing, antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. So sounds amazing, especially for me, the skin soothing bit. Right, so I tried this. I only tried it three times and I know the number because my son saw me the first time and had a complete meltdown he's going to be three soon he is quite a sensitive soul um and I guess <laughs> and he just freaked out seeing this on my face because it's like white I don't know if I can show you it's white so you put a layer on oh, with the brush where's the brush so you put the layer on with a brush and your face is, you know, white, white, white. And in five minutes, and five minutes doesn't sound like a long time, but five minutes is an age if your, you know, toddler is kicking off. Anyway, and then I rubbed it in and you know what? It doesn't actually feel like it's megaly moisturising. I mean, I'm, with both the night creams, I keep on thinking about the Marks and Spencer one, which is Holy Grail for me, the, I think it's called Ultimate Sleep Cream or something like that. And yeah, this this is not that wow for me, you know, and the other two times he was asleep, so no freaking out, but you know, that doesn't happen very often. He normally goes to bed when I go to bed. So I, you know, I kind of have to, yeah, it, it wasn't easy to use it when he was around, put it that way. Um, I've got loads left. I'm probably gonna get, whoops, I'm probably gonna give this away because I don't think I'm gonna get through it before um, 12 months is up and it would be a shame for it to go to waste. Um, so I wasn't really wowed by this, um, but I am interested by the fact that Sika is supposed to be antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. That means it's probably gonna work a lot better with people that have got some form of sort of acne or um, regular blemishes. I do get blemishes, but very occasional. Um, and normally I can just sort them with putting some lactic acid on them or savlon sometimes or um, a glycolic acid yeah and they're very you know they're very sporadic so um, I think you know this this might work for someone else but it wasn't it wasn't for me I'm afraid I did mention it but you know I just even though not every product in this range did it for me 
I love, love, love just using one range. So I, I feel like this is something I'm gonna do again and again. I've just gotta keep on finding brands that have kind of like complete ranges that I can try things from, um, that I want to try things from. So if you have any recommendations in that regard, I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to, you know, put it down below in, in the comments section. Um, but I really, um, I don't know, there was just something, you know what it reminded me of? And this is, this is gonna sound really strange, but it reminded me of when I was um, pregnant, which was a lovely, lovely time in my life because it was like the miracle pregnancy. Um, and I had a, rest a really restricted wardrobe because I didn't, you know, want to spend lots and lots of money on maternity clothes. I was, you know, saving my pennies for when um, my baby was born. Um, but I got some really, really good bargains off eBay and some, you know, other shops. So I didn't spend a lot of money, but I had a lovely capsule wardrobe. And the fact that I had that, ward that sm reduced wardrobe... And that was only, the only things I could pull clothes from. Um, I don't know, I just felt like I was really getting a, a lot of use out of um, my clothes. And it also took the thinking out and made everything simpler. And I guess this is what the, you know, the argument for a minimalist kind of a lifestyle is, is all about. And, you know, if you declutter and all of that stuff. So I'm not planning on doing it in all of the areas of my life, but certainly with um you know the skincare routines i am really enjoying just sticking to one more succinct edited curated list of products which is funny because this is what i do for other people <laughs> in my etsy shop i don't know why i haven't been doing it for myself before but um i i just loved it i had a a, a fantastic time thank you so much for joining me today if you enjoyed today's video please consider hitting the like button, that does a lot of favours to my channel, putting a comment down below, again, all this kind of engagement boosts the video, it re is really, really helpful. If you subscribe, oh, that would be amazing, and uh, hit the notifications bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video, which I do twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. And, you know, consider following me on Instagram. I post daily on Instagram. I'm also on Pinterest. I'm on Facebook. As I mentioned, I've got an Etsy shop. I also have a mailing list, which is um, called the SCK Tribe. Um, and I send out inspirational messages and um, special offers for my shop on every other week. So um, not not too much, not, not, um, not that frequently. You can sign up at my website which is um, selfcarekaren.com you know this channel is all about my self-care journey and i love having you along for the ride thank you so much for being here today please remember you are in perfect time see you soon